Hi, I'm Radu Popescu. In this video, I'm going to talk about EXE or MSI installers. What suits your business best? Differences and recommendations. When we install a Windows program, we often have to deal with MSI and EXE files. However, there's a difference between them. For this video, I have two applications, one in MSI and the other one in EXE format. What is an MSI installer? In Windows operating system, an MSI installer is used to install software and perform operations related to the installation process, such as uninstallation, configuration and program updates. The MSI file extension stands for Microsoft Software Installer. When an MSI installer is launched, it uses Microsoft Windows installer service to configure installed packages, such as Windows applications or package updates. All MSI installers have the same component structure and are built according to standards, industry, procedures and best practices. Thanks to this standardization, all MSI installers support silent installation by default using the same parameters. To get a complete list of all supported MSI command lines, open a CMD and type MSI exec slash question mark. Now what is an access setup? Most EXE setup is probably the most common installer format. It shares the same file extension as any Windows executable program, EXE. The EXE setup does not depend on any engine to trigger the install. It is self-contained and the logic behind the structure of the install depends directly on the tool used for the setup creation. While for the MSI, the silent installation parameters are set by default and standardized, the silent installation parameters for an EXE setup are dependent on the software used to build it. You can type the setup exe name followed by the slash and the question mark. Keep in mind that if the developer omits to declare and enable the silent install parameters, then the setup exe will not support them. Now let's talk about some differences between MSI and EXE. MSI installers have a standard silent installation parameters as discussed. MSI file have installation logging support by default as well as a rollback option during the installation process. So in case your installation crashes in the middle of the process, the installer automatically reverses the steps and cleans any modification done on the system prior to the failure. This includes removing files already copied, registry keys added, and so on. Also, in the case of an MSI installer, you can view and edit the structure using professional tools such as Advanced Installer. This is what an MSI structure looks like, viewed as a table. You can apply various customization to the above table by using a transform file. All custom settings will be stored in the MST file, which is called during the installation. This way you can make sure the MSI stays unaltered. Keep in mind that modifying an MSI directly can cause errors during the installation process, so as a best practice we recommend using the MST files. Now as the EXE particularities, EXE setup have different parameters based on the tools that we use to create, as we discussed earlier. The EXE files can install applications, but it can also be the program's main executable, where MSI files only install applications. EXE files cannot be modified. The only way to alter an EXE installer is to repackage them using the repackager. How does repackaging work? An initial snapshot of the operating system is taken, followed by installation of the setup. Then, it finishes with a second snapshot of the operating system once the software is installed. The difference between the two snapshots will result in the new installer, which can be built as an MSI. Now, should I build an MSI or an XE installer? Simply put, MSI is the preferred installer, especially in the enterprise environment where the installation process of the application requires solid install parameters and configuration management tools. Most configuration management tools can integrate MSI packages natively and any MSI customizations are easily done via MST. One other reason why MSI is preferred over the setup EXE is that the EXE installer uses the same extension as any application and this can be a vulnerability and hide a malicious executable instead of an installer. When is EXE set up the preferred installer? For instance, in scenarios where you have a bundle installer, that incorporates multiple web applications because they can be wrapped within a main setup X installer. Having nested MSI installers is not the best practice. Advanced Installer offers both types of build, MSI and XE, from the same project. 
you can choose your perfect build from the build steps and add it with it a single click. As a conclusion, what should you choose between MSI or XE? Most vendors offer both MSI and XE installer formats for the application. If you were to make a choice, I would recommend MSI. When building your installer, the best practice is to create an MSI installer since it is widely accepted for both home users and enterprise environments, it supports the standardized silent install parameters, and it respects the industry standards. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and Advanced Installer blog.